Hey guys, welcome back to I'm an Actor, Not a Therapist. My name is Sammy. So, what's going on? So, since our last lovely chat, I have been doing some more thinking. Um, and I've kind of had this thing on my mind lately. Um, and tell me what you guys think. I always welcome opinions and lively conversation, both on Instagram and if you know me, on TikTok or anything like that, uh, you know that I'm always up for lively conversation. But let's let's talk about what we're here to talk about. I've been thinking of this idea of friend groups, right? Stay with me for a second. I've been thinking about this idea of friend groups lately and how in friend groups, you know, everybody kind of has their role, you know, whether, whether you get assigned that role or you just kind of fall into that role because of your personality or, you know, what your friends need from you in, in the circle that you're in. And I've realized, and I know others that are like this too, um, there's always that one friend called the therapist friend. And I guarantee you, if you have a therapist friend in your friend group, you just thought of their names. Like just right now, as I said that, you know exactly who I'm talking about. You might be this person. But I wanted to explore and talk about this idea of that person, that therapist friend, right? Because we either all know that therapist friend or we are that therapist friend. I'd like to talk to the people that are that therapist friend um, and the people that also go to this therapist friend with, with things. Now, speaking as myself, and I can only talk for myself, I'm never going to try to put words into anybody's mouth um, or speak on behalf of anybody because it's not my place to do it. But speaking only for myself, I know that I feel extremely honored when my friends come to me with issues because I know that that means that they trust me. They know that whatever they say to me, you know, lives with me, doesn't leave me, doesn't get repeated. You know, I'm not that friend that shares screenshots or anything like that. You know, whatever happens in our conversations kind of lives and dies with me. But on the other side of that, and and I don't take that lightly when my friends come to me and they want me, you know, they want my advice or they say, I respect you and I want your opinion on this. You know, I don't take that lightly at all. However, and again, only speaking for myself, um, sometimes it makes it hard for the therapist friend to turn around and ask for help. Because they are so in tune with their other friends and being able to be there for, for people. And that's not a bad quality to have. I want to be really, really clear about this. You know, it's, it's absolutely not a bad quality to have to be that therapist friend, to be the one that people go to. You know, if you're the therapist friend, it means that people find you to be a calming person. People find you to be a person that they can rely on, depend upon, um, that you're somebody that they trust with a lot of stuff. Like, let's, let's, let's unpack this for a bit, huh? Like, let's talk about the fact that the therapist friend in your group, in your friend circle, knows pretty much everything about everybody. They are the secret keeper, you know? So it's, it's a very high place of honor and I am incredibly happy to serve as that person for people in my circle, in my friend group. I'm very honored to be able to do that. Um, But what that also means is that sometimes it's very difficult for that therapist friend to turn around and be like, hey, I'm not okay right now. I could use a therapist friend. Um, And sometimes it's 
difficult for people. And I'm not saying that anybody's doing this on purpose. This entire conversation, I don't think anybody is doing anything with any sort of malice or anything like that. It's just something that I've been thinking about because I know where I fall into line with my friend groups, as well as I know where my other friends, you know, kind of fall in, in the friend group and things like that. And I know for me, sometimes it's difficult for me to turn around and say, Hey, um, I'm not exactly okay right now. I need some help because I am that therapist friend in the friend group. I am that one that people go to, um, when they need advice or anything like that. Um, and sometimes that's a lot. Sometimes it's a lot, you know, not going to lie. Sometimes being the secret keeper (laughs) as it were is sometimes very difficult. Um, not saying that it's not worth it because I think the good part about being the therapist friend is that you do get to have those really deep conversations that you have at three o'clock in the morning on a random Friday, you know, those real, and you know, the kind of conversations that I'm talking about, those are the kind of conversations that I kind of live for. I love those really deep conversations where you and whoever it is that you're talking to really sit and they think about life and you, you reveal some really deep, dark secrets to each other. I love those kind of conversations. I wish I could initiate more of those conversations earlier in the night and not at a quarter to three or four in the morning. <laughs> But those are the type of conversations that you have with the therapist friend, you know, and sometimes the therapist friend needs to be checked on. Sometimes the therapist friend finds it very difficult to go to somebody in their friend group and say, hey, I need help because they're the one that people go to when they need help, you know. It's kind of along the lines of like help the helpers kind of thing. Um, but if you are the therapist friend in your friend group, and, and I know some of you that are listening to this definitely, definitely are, you know, I want you to know that it is a hundred percent okay to ask for help. It is a hundred percent okay if you don't feel okay. It is 100% okay for you to turn around and say to your friends that are coming to you, hey, can I talk about something real quick? You know, a friend of mine who also has a podcast um, has this phrase, you know, you can't pour from, from an empty cup. And the more I think about that, the more that that's true. And nine times out of 10, you're not, you don't even realize that you're pouring from an empty cup. When you realize you're pouring from an empty cup is when at the end of the day, your body feels exhausted and you're sitting on the couch and you've been crying for two hours and you don't know why. And you are just completely and totally burned out. And that burnout can come from anywhere. It could come from the fact that you're the therapist friend. It could come from work and being the therapist friend. It could come from family responsibilities and work and being the therapist friend and this and that, you know, it can come from a lot of different places. Um, you know, recently I was burned out that that's something that happened to me recently where you know, I'm, I'm part of a bunch of different discords with my friends. And in one of the discords, I finally wrote like, I'm not okay right now. I'm kind of waving the white flag and I need help. Um, and to my absolute shock and absolute delight, um, my friends were all right there. And how can we help you? What do you need? You know, it, 
gave me, it, it made me smile. It made me realize that, you know, being the therapist friend and asking for help from the people that you give counsel to is a different kind of asking for help. You know what I mean? If you think about it, it's it's a completely different kind of asking for help. You can ask your friends for help. We talked about this last week about being able to ask for help and how it's okay and how you should ask for help and you know what asking for help could sound like. Um and I think that sometimes your therapist friends forget that it's okay to ask the people that they counsel for that help, for them to turn to the people that they counsel and say, hey, I'm not okay right now and I could use somebody, you know, and going back to that discussion we had last week about how it's okay to say I'm not okay right now and to be able to ask for that help. Um, I just think that sometimes being the therapist friend or that or being that therapist friend, sometimes we feel guilty asking for the help because we're the ones that people come to, to find the help. You know, I can't, I, and again, it is an absolute pleasure. It is an absolute honor to know that the people in my life trust me to be the therapist friend and come to me and want my opinion on things and, you know, want my counsel on stuff. Of course, my counsel always comes with, but that's just my opinion because as we've all seen in the meme, we all say, but that's just my opinion because if they take your advice and it blows up in their, if <laughs> it blows up in their face, it's not your fault. All he said was, that's just my opinion. <laughs> I have said that phrase more than once or, you know, but that's just me. <laughs> Here's what I think. Um, you know, it's it's great to know that, or it's it's an honor to know that people come to me and they want my help and they want my advice and they want my counsel and they don't mind, you know, coming to me as a safe person to cry. I absolutely cherish that. I love that. I love that I have people in my life that want me to be in that role. But when I had my burnout last week and all I really could do was sit on my couch after work and not move and I'm sitting there mindlessly scrolling, watching a TV show I have watched a thousand times because it's familiar, you know, and as the therapist friend, I kind of took a chance and I said, Hey, I'm not okay right now. And I'm waving the white flag. And it has been a really, really freaking hard couple of weeks. And it was a really hard freaking day. And I'm waving the white flag because I don't know what else to do. I'm hitting a brick wall. And I don't know what else to do. And the overwhelming support that I got from the people that considered me the therapist friend was astounding. All of this to say, if you are not the therapist friend, if you're going to somebody who is the therapist friend, you know, every so often check on them, make sure that they're okay. You know, and if you are the therapist friend, it is absolutely amazing to see that when I wasn't okay and I was in absolutely like to be really clear, I was in absolutely no position, no mindset, no clarity to be giving anybody advice. I had to convince myself to eat dinner that night is how burnt out I was. I did not want to move off of my couch. I did not want to take my eyes off of social media. I didn't want to take my eyes off the TV. And all I wanted in that burnout moment was 
for somebody to come freaking take care of me because I was completely burnt out from a number of different things. And while the people that surround me for the most part are not here with me where I live, all I had to do was grab my phone, which I had already had in my hand, and post something in the Discord that I'm on. And these wonderful, lovely, amazing people who I often give counsel to were there to give me counsel. And it was an amazing feeling to know that I was surrounded by help. You know, what can we do for you? How can we help you? Are you okay? What's going on? I'm here if you need to talk. You know, the phrases that we all use for each other when someone's going through a hard time were coming to me from a real place of caring and a real place of love. And they were not empty words. They were coming from people that I often help as the therapist friend. You know, they were coming to me with deep concern of where I was emotionally, mentally, and physically at that moment and really wanting to be there for me. And as the therapist friend, it was eye-opening to see how fast everybody came to my, to want to help. It was incredibly comforting to know that I had so many people that wanted to help. And it was incredibly rewarding. And I say rewarding because I recognized in that moment how many people that I have helped because these are the same people that were looking to help me. And it was, it was just amazing to see that. And it was incredible. It made me feel incredibly warm and fuzzy, you know, and it was a bad moment that I had that I knew that there were people that were surrounding me and it was lovely to know that there were people that love me enough to surround me. Um, and you know, I think that often as a therapist friend, we think that we're forgotten about, you know, we think that we just always have to be there for others. And it's an inconvenience for us to need somebody to be there for us. But at the end of the day, you know, that's just, that's just not true. You know, that's something that we have told ourselves for whatever reason. But if you have a good group around you that loves you, that while you give counsel to, you know, it is okay for you to turn around and ask them to support you when you genuinely need it. And that's kind of what I learned on Thursday, I think it was that I, that this happened Wednesday or Thursday, somewhere around there. Um, and it was very eye opening and it was humbling. And it was one of those things, like a moment that, you know, I will remember, you know, how everybody that I've given counsel to was ready to give it right back to me when I literally could not, I couldn't get off that couch. If you 
gave me a million dollars that night. There was no way on this planet that I was getting off that couch. Um, and then like a friend said to me, you have to eat dinner. And I was like, I'm not hungry. And they and they said to me, I know you're not, but get your butt off the couch and eat anyway. And I'm like, all right, fine. Because, and they said to me, you would say the same thing to me if I were in your position. And I said, you're right. I would. Um, and that was very interesting to hear my words come back to me. <laughs> Holding a mirror up to me was very, very interesting in that moment. Um, but if you're not the therapist friend, if you're going to the therapist friend for advice, for counsel, for anything, you know, just know that whatever advice or counsel they've ever given you is coming from a real place of love and understand how hard it is sometimes for that person to turn around and tell you how much help that they might need in a moment and just kind of keep that in mind it's something that I will always keep in mind now because when I needed somebody people were there and that's not something I'm ever going to forget you know I'm not going to ever forget who was there when I needed help and I, and I know that it's not the last time that I'm going to need help you know very clear it's it's not going to be the, the last time that I ask for help it shouldn't be the last time I ask for help because we all need help at some points in our lives and it's not just that I only need help this one time you know I could need help again in a few weeks I could need help again tomorrow you know you just never know you never ever ever know but for the therapist friend it's very important to us to know that while we're giving our friends what they need we can turn around and ask for what we need because everybody needs I'm really trying not to get into this song lyric I'm really I'm really really trying right now but everybody needs we all need each other at some point there we go that's how I'm gonna get around this everybody needs each other at some point there we go. Um, and again, I am incredibly honored when my friends turn around and tell me that they need me. And if you're the therapist friend, I hope that you know how much your friends love and trust you to be able to call you or treat you like the therapist friend. It's something lovely that I really don't take for granted in my friend group it's really lovely on that note if you guys have a moment i would love it for you to subscribe to the podcast i would love for you to leave some great reviews for me uh subscribe hit the buttons come back next week when we talk again um interact with the with the Instagram page and everything it really does help in the grand scheme of things and again as I always do thank you so much to everybody for all of the support and love and interaction and fabulous reviews and everything like that that you all give this little podcast that could online it is amazing it is super appreciated it does not go unnoticed and it is the reason that i make sure that you all get a new podcast each week because i know that you all are enjoying it and interacting with it and really getting something from it and that's all I want out of this podcast is for it to resonate with you guys in some way, shape, or form. So go ahead and subscribe and leave comments and reviews and everything. 
um, because that really does help in the long run. And until next time, I hope you have an absolutely fabulous, fabulous week. Thank you.